Hi, this is Shauna. This is the next video in the Iron Shauna project. We're cooking well using only ingredients on hand. Today I decided that I wanted to do a little adventure with using my kale and beet greens and also to make good on my interest in making homemade protein powder. Uh, the stuff you can get in the stores is pretty expensive and I don't always have it on hand. So it's nice to have options. And so I rallied up all the ingredients that I have on hand today and we'll show you how I did it. So starting with the protein powder, uh, I have four different ingredients that I've pulled off of a recipe that I found on Livestrong.com and I'll just quickly show you what I have here. I've got dry black beans, brown rice, uh, and I'll show you this one first, uh, oats, and those are just the regular quick oats, although I'm sure you could experiment with other kinds. Um, and I didn't have any actual soybeans on hand. I'm going to try edamame, which is a sweeter, younger, fresher version of the soybean. And from what I understand from the Livestrong recipe, the black beans are a great source of protein. They have kind of a bitter taste. So the rest of these uh, ingredients, grains, are going to uh, compensate for that bitterness and make it a little more sweet. So I'm thinking the edamame will still work, even though it's not straight up soybean. Uh, like the recipe calls for. Okay, so we're going to put these in a blender and see how it comes out. Um, and be sure to use a flat blade if you have it. Um, that will help grind the harder grains in your blender. So here we go. So um, what I wound up with was this. <laughs> it, uh, it's a little more moist then maybe your protein powder may come out uh, if you're using regular soybeans. I think that the edamame actually made it um, kind of like a, a gummy texture. Uh, it's got, you know, flecks of everything as you can see and you can grind to a finer powder. I'm going to actually just go ahead as is. It looks um, fine enough for me. Um, but again, it's to taste. So, I've got our protein powder. I've got a, a yogurt, doesn't really matter what brand. I keep these in the freezer all the time just so I can pull them out. Uh, for me, smoothies are best when they are semi-frozen. And I don't like to use ice in my blender, so frozen yogurt. And then I've got a host of uh, fruit here. We've got peaches, with peaches, might be nectarine. I can never remember the difference. And these are frozen. <laughs> doesn't matter for me as long as it's sweet, but for you, pick your favorite fruit. I've got a little bit of banana that I, um, you know, some people let theirs uh, age so they can make banana bread. I stick mine in the freezer for smoothies. Uh, and then I've been picking blackberries throughout the summer and just sticking them in the freezer. My ultimate plan is to make jam and wine, but for now we're just going to put a little bit in our smoothie just to give it some color and a little jazz of flavor. Uh, oh, also of note, when uh, choosing your ingredients. If you don't want to use banana or can't for some reason, you can also use avocado, which is sort of a twist. Who knew? It's all good stuff and it's very healthy. All right, we're gonna put these all together and see how they come out. I also happen to have some kale that I need to use up uh, from the local organic farm. It's a little floppy as you can see, so I want to use that up. Um, and some beet greens, but you didn't know that you could use them beets are not the only edible part of the vegetable, but the greens are actually as well, and I'll put the nutritional information again in the notes. Okay, so I've got my frozen yogurt in here. Um, I like to do single serving portions. You can clearly use a bigger blender and do what you want. Um, I recently learned a new way of stripping the kale from the stock. Of course, I think I'm probably going to uh, not humiliate, but just um, make it funny by not knowing exactly. This is my first try, my inaugural try of stripping the kale from the stem. But basically, you just run it, oops, run your hand along the stem so that it's gone. Because while I like to use the stem in stir fries, I'm not so crazy about using it in my smoothies. So, as you can see, I'm left with the rest of the plant. We'll just 
put that into the cup there. Put a little bit of beet green in there. Protein powder. I don't think I told you I did a half tablespoon of each of these ingredients and I'm just going to dump this whole thing right into the cup with the smoothie stuff. And I'm running out of room in my cup for now, but I want to have some liquid to be able to let the blender do its thing. So I'm going to put a tad bit of water in it. Maybe, you know, I don't know, a third to a half of the cup. Alright, now we're going to switch from the flat blade to a regular blade. That's something that looks kind of green and frothy here. Uh, it's a little juicy, so when we add the frozen fruit, that'll thicken that right up, especially with the banana or avocado if you're using that. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I'm going to show you this. Look, it's so pretty. I love color contrast in my food, uh, especially because that tells me I'm getting the most nutrition uh, out of my meal. So it, that's why I just had to show you the berry with the, against the green, just yum. Now we're gonna blend that all together. And you'll notice that once the yogurt and the kale and everything blended together, uh, it gave us a little bit more room in the cup. So um, my blender left a little bit of the green at the bottom. I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. And <laughs> in that true Iron Shauna form, we are, my household is out of spoons. We've been using them all up, and uh, I'm just using what's on hand. I, of course, I could just rinse off another spoon, but here I am using a fork. Apparently, I'm addicted to forks. If you remember in one of my previous videos, I used it to uh, spoon out spaghetti into my uh, dish. Spaghetti sauce, that is. Um, so there you go. It's, there we go. Uh, gorgeous. Now, I have this little snazzy lid, and I'm not in any way doing a sales pitch for this type of blender. I just got it because I like the single servings, and uh, it's easy to drink out of. So here we go. Here's the taste test. Mmm. Mmm. O-M-G. I am so doing this forever and ever and ever. <laughs> um, if you don't like berry seeds, I'd advise against putting the berries in there. And again, if you don't like um, bits um, in your smoothies, then definitely finely grind your protein powder. But otherwise, this tastes fantastic. Um, and I can't wait to see how nutritious it is. This is going to be one of the best things when I get back into running. I did a full marathon. How long ago was it now? I don't even want to think about it. Um, that was a bit too much for me, but I'm thinking about training again for half marathons. So any of you runners out there, this might good, be good for you as well. Or anybody who's uh, looking for staying fit and keeping their protein intake up. So enjoy. I'll see you later.